Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and uh, we're just out doing some inspections at one of our apiaries and uh, I've just found something uh, that I was asked about yesterday in fact. Um, a lady came up to me and asked uh, if I could help identify an Asian hornet that she'd caught and uh, I explained to her the difference between an Asian hornet and a European hornet and um, as luck would have it, today at this apiary I found a European hornet um, I've managed to capture it and uh, it's just sitting quietly in a cool bag so I'm just going to go and get that and um, hopefully show you uh, on screen what a European hornet looks like and then when I go back to the office we'll see if we can pull up some information about the differences between the Asian hornet and the European hornet and hopefully we can allay some of the fears that people have about the European hornet um, attacking our honeybees because they're, they're actually um, not that aggressive towards a, a strong colony. So let's pause, I'll go and get the, um, the European hornet and uh, hopefully she'll behave herself and we can show you on screen and uh, we'll take it from there. So there she is. Um, I hope that's in focus. Mostly a brownish yellow colour. Um, she's a bit subdued because she's a bit cool but the sun is about to warm her up and as you can see um, she's a lovely looking thing. Um, I'm delighted to have found them here. Uh, there she goes, she's now starting to warm up and just getting herself organised and hopefully she'll take off and find her way home. So as you can see she's got mainly a yellow abdomen and the thorax is a chestnut brown colour um, and the legs are pretty much a chestnut brown as well and hopefully oh, Hopefully you can see that quite clearly. These beautiful stripes on her abdomen. Oh, she's going to fly away. She's just warming up in the sun and cleaning herself and looks fantastic. Um, not to be confused with the Asian Hornet, which is predominantly black. Um, and we'll have a look at her in some photographs, but this beautiful creature is not going to do any harm to your beehives um, they will occasionally uh, forage on colonies that are very weak um, but how could anybody fail to be impressed with a creature like this Okay, so we'll leave her to warm up and uh, head off back to her nest and, whoop, and we'll get back to the office and see if we can find some images of the, um, the Asian Hornet. Okay, so I've um, made it back into the office and got to the computer and opened up a website and as you can see it's called BeeBase and this is the Animal and Plant Health Agency's National Bee Unit website uh, set up for beekeepers and has pretty much all the information you could possibly want to know about um, bees and beekeeping. So uh, if you look down the left hand side of the contents there is a section called Bee Pests, Diseases and Maps. If we click on that um, it gives you a sub menu and here's an Asian Hornet section and this gives you lots of really useful information about the Asian Hornet, European Hornet and also shows the giant Asian Hornet which uh, as you can see is sometimes referred to as the Japanese Hornet. So although um, the contingency is in place for the National Bee Unit to lead uh, any sightings of the Asian Hornet. Um, if you were to spot one then it's not the National Bee Unit that you need to report it to. It's the 
Great Britain Non-Native Species Secretariat and I have a website here so if I just move these around so this is the website and I'll post all of the um, URLs and details of where you can find this information into the description so don't worry about having to write them down. Um, so this is the Non-Native Species Secretariat and if you go along the top lots of information um, but if you go to Species Alerts and scroll down it shows the Asian Hornet and there's plenty of details here about it um, but the most important aspect is uh, perhaps a reporting form which you can click on it's very user friendly and you can send in details if you think you've spotted one okay so we've got the alert poster risk assessment and identification sheet um, information sheet and response plan I've opened up the identification sheet let's just make some space here okay so there are two pages and what I'll try to do is pull up a picture of the European Hornet that uh, I caught earlier so if you look at the key ID features you can see that the Asian Hornet is predominantly a black bodied insect um, the Latin name uh, Vesper Velutina nigri thorax means black thorax so um, that's a pretty much a, a good giveaway as to the type of hornet that you've got notice the um, yellow ends to the legs and also on the abdomen it's predominantly dark with a single yellow band on the fourth abdominal segment whereas the European hornet as you can see from the drawing here and the video of the hornet that I caught earlier today uh, that also um, has a large yellow section predominantly um, chestnut brown um, thorax top of the abdomen and legs and um, that again is um, a pretty obvious indicator that what you're looking at is a European hornet and not an Asian hornet nests are pretty impressive um, uh, but this information sheet you can download and, and read through lots of really useful information so there we go um, the hornet that I found today was definitely a European hornet and not an Asian hornet we all need to be mindful of what's out there and make sure that we're checking and if you have any doubts at all then take the details if you can collect a sample um, and be safe collecting the sample then that would be great and then uh, advise the non-native species secretariat uh, and your local bee inspector who I'm sure would be more than happy to come along and help identify it but if you use this as the first port of call and the websites so we've got bee base and the non-native species secretariat and those two websites together combined uh, you'll be able to identify what you've got without any real problem. I hope that's been of use. Um, please do hit the like button and um, this one in particular if you could share. If you've got any comments at all I'd love to hear from you uh, and if I can answer any other questions please put them in the comments section below um, and if there's anything else you'd like to see then that would be great. And finally um, please subscribe. I'm going to put together more of these videos and uh, it'd be great to be able to post some videos of, of something that's of interest to you particularly. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and we'll catch up again soon.